If you're happy and you don't know you're happy, there's nobody at home. But this is the whole problem for us. Several thousand years ago, human beings evolved the system of self-consciousness. And uh, they knew, they, they knew. There was a young man who said, though, it seems that I know that I know. What I would like to see is the I that knows me when I know that I know that I know. And how does that I know that I know? See? 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 Yes. Human, 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 human that we know. And so there came a point in our evolution when we didn't guide life by just trusting our instincts. And had to think about it. Had to purposely arrange and discipline and push our lives around in accordance with foresight and words and systems of symbols, accountancy, calculation, and so on. And then we worry. Once you start thinking about things, you worry as to whether you've thought enough. Did you really take all the details into consideration? Was every fact properly reviewed? And by Jove, the more you think about it, the more you realize that uh, you really couldn't take everything into consideration. Because all the variables in any human decision are incalculable. So you get anxiety. And this, though, also, this is the price you pay for knowing the you know. For being able to think about thinking, feel about feeling. And so you're in this funny position. Now then, do you see that this is simultaneously an advantage and a terrible disadvantage? What has happened here is that by having a certain kind of consciousness, a certain kind of reflexive consciousness, being aware of being aware, being able to represent what goes on fundamentally in terms of a system of symbols, such as words, such as numbers, you put, as it were, two lives together at once, one representing the other. The symbols representing the reality. The money representing the wealth. And if you don't realize that the symbol is really secondary, it doesn't have the same value. You know, people go to the supermarket and they uh, get a whole cartload of goodies and they drive it through and then the clerk fixes up the counter and this long tape comes out and you say thirty dollars please everybody feels depressed because they they give away thirty dollars worth of paper but they've got a cartload of goodies they don't think about that they think they just lost lost thirty dollars but you've got the real wealth in the car. All you parted with was the paper. Because the paper in our system becomes more valuable, more valuable than the wealth and the wealth. It represents thousands, thousands, power. Whereas the wealth. No, no. That's just, that's just, that's just. I mean, that's to be really difficult.